Hey, Doug, I'm still here for Doc Sports, and I'm back with more free play action. The uh, Actually, I only had one play yesterday that was in play. So uh, the uh, had that, and the Blackhawks did not. They came up short. Okay, one goal short. Thought they had a chance, but that just didn't get it done from the wise guys. So they'll try and bounce back today. Uh, obviously, my play yesterday was a football play, so that won't, we won't know the results on that until Sunday. But we're coming back with more action today. Got a free pick for today to try and get it going. And got some other things going. Uh, for example, got a... Um, a uh, big football card coming again, finalizing it. Looks like it's going to be either nine or ten K okay, plays for sure. Seven unit play in the in college football, uh, and then a six unit play in the NFL. And both of those, okay, uh, are uh, uh, I should say, on those plays, I am ten and two so far this season for my best bet plays of the week in football. So those have been just smoking hot to go along with the last five weeks, twenty six and fifteen. Uh, overall in football. So that's been a real nice run. And we're going to try and continue that, okay, this upcoming weekend with a nice card. Uh, today, no, nothing in Major League Baseball. Coming back with a NHL play. I did miss it yesterday, first one of the year. So going to try and get the old bounce back going, okay, on the ice and get that uh, rectified with the with the winner today. And that's available at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. And uh, also along the same line, if you're interested in my package, it's $99. And, but if you've never signed up at Doc's, you can sign up today. $60 off. Okay. Go to the to my page. You'll see a box in the upper left-hand corner. It is red in color. Click on that. Sign up if you never have and get $60 off. So that takes your price down to $39 bucks for a weekend of action of either 9 or 10 football plays. And like I said, I've been red hot in football uh, across the board. So here we go. Okay. But ready to make it happen yet again. Um, so take advantage of that $60 if you have not. Okay. Let's talk some Major League Baseball. Tonight's big final game, Dodgers and Giants. This is an ep epic showdown of two franchises who have played against each other for the, I'm not sure if you know this or not, 130 years. Yeah. 130 years. So um, this season, okay, these two teams, uh, you know, they set, uh, well, set or tied. San Francisco won the most games ever in the regular season, okay? The Dodgers tied their record, okay, from two years ago, all right? So both of these games, both these teams come into this game with 109 victories this season. Remarkable, okay? Just absolutely remarkable. Pitching matchup, well, it's not only great for a season or for a series finale, it'd be great for a game seven of a World Series with Julio, Julio Urias going up against Logan Webb. Okay, now Urias is the first 20 game winner in five years. Uh, and he's been dominant against the Giants with a 2.58 ERA and 15 starts. And in those starts, he's 9 5 and 1 under. Okay, uh, in his career, Urias, I'm sorry, uh, Urias also has won 12 in a row, uh, dating back to June 21st. And in, in those starts, which is 18, the Dodgers are 16 and 2. Now, Webb, <laughs> he's been no slouch, he's won 11 in a row, dating back to May 11th. Okay, and and it, the, and so over that period of time, that's 21 starts. The Giants are 19 and 2. So, yeah, these are two aces for sure. Now, Webb has a 2.89 ERA and seven starts against the Dodgers in his career, and he's 5 and 2 under. There'll be a certain chill in the air uh, in the Bay Area on this one now that we're into the, uh, well, basically the middle of October. Uh, I There's no question in my mind these two teams will be nervous. Okay. The pitchers obviously be somewhat nervous as well, but they're comforted by how they pitched all year. Batters for sure will be. And in the two, let's just say, chilly and windier games in the series, okay, both have been lower scoring. Uh, I'm also looking at the fact that the Dodgers are 12-5 and five in their last set, 12-5 and five under in their last 17 facing right-handed starters. And Webb is 8-1 and one under, okay, against teams – outscoring their foes by uh, 0.5 runs per game on the season in the second half of the year. So my opinion, somebody wins this game three to two or four to two. What does that mean? I'm saying I'm taking the under seven in this Titanic battle. Can't wait for this one tonight. Okay. I, the, uh, the football game, good stuff. Not going to disagree. I'm watching the baseball game first. 
Okay, that's that's where the sound is for me on this one. Now, uh, again, please keep on the videos. Uh, keep uh, subscribing. Okay, a number of you have. That's great stuff uh, for, on my channel and the Doc channel uh, overall. So that's good stuff. Keep the comments coming. Okay, appreciate appreciate that. And also the, you know what that is. Okay, those are all good uh, along with that. So all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so keep it keep it all coming. Okay, so again, just to recap, football, big package today, tonight at six o'clock. Okay, get all my picks. Okay, for the week, I'll say, I've been doing, I've been doing excellent. I'm gonna try and keep it going, either, whether it be just overall and with the best bets, so you can get all of those at my page, the Doug Upstone page, and NHL action as well. NBA just around the corner, by the way. Uh, so we got, we got that up. All right, today's other free play is to take the Philadelphia Eagles plus the seven. Against the New England, New England against it. I'm thinking Tampa. I'm thinking of Tom Brady. First thing that comes into my head: take Philadelphia plus the seven against Tampa Bay. Tom Brady, that's his team. Tampa Bay. All right, so got that figured out. So this is Doug Upton for Doc Sports. I'll be back tomorrow with more free play action. Until then, you know the drill. I'm out.